Welcome to the very first episode of Vlogmas. Today we are going to go through 100 plus bucket list items. This isn't just Christmas, this is Christmas into maybe early February, late January. First we have decorate the house. I clearly have already done this and I have a vlog on that which you're just gonna have to stick around and subscribe and see. Then we have breakout Christmas sweaters. This is one of my favorite Christmas sweaters. I also have a really cute one with reindeer on it that I'll probably wear tomorrow. Make a Christmas wish list. Next, we are going to be making a Christmas playlist. Next is decorating Christmas cookies obviously. Then we're gonna make gingerbread cookies. I think I personally prefer gingerbread cookies. They're also just cuter. We are going to update or create, if you haven't already, a winter Pinterest board. This is where you're going to keep bucket list items, vibes, maybe cute winter outfits you want to try. Get inspired. Next, go to a Christmas tree lighting. You're going to be reading Christmassy books. I have a video coming on that soon. And then you're going to watch Christmassy, wintry movies and TV shows. I also have a video coming on that later. You're going to drink seasonal drinks and I'd encourage you to branch out from just Starbucks Christmas drinks. Go to a Christmas tree farm. This was 100% inspired by the Taylor Swift song, Christmas Tree Farm. This one I'm excited to try, but DIY a Christmas advent calendar. And then it works as a countdown for Christmas as well, so. 15, make your notion a beautiful winter aesthetic. And if you don't have a notion, make a notion. You're gonna be so thankful going into the new year. Your life will be so organized and you will have everything that your brain could possibly need to have written down because you can't keep it in your brain in one place. Go to a Christmas parade, buy a Christmas vinyl. I have a record player and I have a ton of records that I inherited and I went through them this year thinking like for sure I had to have some sort of Christmas album and I don't. Go to a light show. Me and my husband love going to the Charleston, South Carolina light show every year. That one is stunning. There's a part that you drive through and a part that you can walk through. Drive through the neighborhood and watch the lights. I remember growing up like getting hot chocolate and getting in our Christmas pajamas and just driving through the neighborhood and looking at all the lights. It was so fun. Now, number 20, have a hot cocoa picnic. I know this was on my fall bucket list and somehow I didn't do it. This one is discover new coffee shops. Honestly, I feel like I could put this on every seasonal bucket list ever because there's always going to be new coffee shops to discover. Play nostalgic board games. Now I'm all about playing board games during the colder seasons, but something about playing nostalgic games, find old board games that you either loved as a child or even just a really traditional one like Scrabble or chess or even checkers. Dress like your Pinterest boards. Get some inspo. Maybe try to recreate some of those Pinterest photos. Maybe post them on Pinterest. I don't know. Obviously, we're gonna go ice skating. Change your iPhone wallpaper and widgets. I really want to go skiing or snowboarding for the first time this year. Buy winter smelling candles. Hit up TJ Maxx. Obviously, Christmas shopping. And when I say Christmas shopping, try not to do everything online. 30 paint ornaments and I actually have like a fun little girls night planned where we're gonna paint ornaments But then the next one is I also want to do macrame ornaments I had never really thought about this before and I went to like a local little farmers market and I saw someone selling them And I was like, that's cute. I want to try to make that myself buy stocking stuffers I don't know why but something about stocking stuffers. I like almost prefer to do more than the actual like gift shopping itself. This one I'm pumped for. Orange slice decor. It's easy to DIY and it's supposed to make your house smell so good. Might not be Christmassy in nature, but I want to make the cute little aesthetic Pinterest Christmas cakes like these, if that makes sense. Paint your nails a wintry color. I already did that. Ooh, my leg's falling asleep. Go to or throw a Christmas party. Here's my thing with these kinds of bucket list items. When I say go to a Christmas party, you might be like, oh, what if I don't get invited to one? Okay, then throw your own. Invite some of your closest friends over. It can even be like one or two other people. It doesn't even have to be a big party. Make Christmas cookies or those ornaments that we talked about. You can make the orange slice garlands. You can make your wish list together and watch a Christmas movie movie like it can be super chill this one 37 is tiktok christmas trends i am specifically thinking about the sia snowman dance thing that was just like really big for the past two winters and i hope it's big again because i've always wanted to do it but then i end up 
not. They're trends for a reason. They're fun to do. 438, we are going to wear an ugly Christmas sweater, but now here's the bonus. Wear it out in public, but not to an ugly Christmas sweater party. Next, we are going to have a movie marathon, aka a fandom night. I tried doing this during Vlogtober, and let me tell you, it was so unbelievably fun that this is just something that I want to start doing. Buy yourself something warm and fuzzy, and I left this one super vague because that way can work with like your budget for Christmas if you want to spend money, or if you're definitely trying not to spend money. Now my other leg's fallen asleep. 41 is go downtown to see the Christmas lights. Enjoy how the different storefronts in your downtown are decorating for Christmas as well. 42. Watch the Christmas episodes of your favorite shows. Buy and or just wear if you already have some and you don't want to buy new ones, but your Christmas pajamas. Take Polaroids on Christmas morning while everyone's in their Christmas pajamas as people are opening their presents. Either send out Christmas cards or make a Christmas post. Take some little photos and like post something on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas from. Send letters to your long distance friends and families over the holidays. Now 47. I love, and this is actually a Christmas tradition that my family does. I think everyone needs to do at least once. We do thriftmas. We all pull a name from a hat. So we all have like someone else in the family. This year I have my dad and I'm so pumped. And we go to a thrift shop and we try to find them the most atrocious, fun, hysterical, embarrassing outfit. And then we all are gonna do an activity and we have to wear the outfit that was bought for us. This is one of the most fun holiday traditions. I have so many fun memories from past thrift miss, thrift misses, thrift, thrift, thrift misses misses and I'm just beyond excited for it this year. 48 is visit friends and family that you can. 49 go see some live music especially if it's for like a Christmas festival or something Christmassy. Go for a walk in the snow and now we're getting into all the snow stuff. We're gonna have a snowball fight. We're gonna build a snowman. We're gonna make snow angels. Now that I'm into running I kind of want to try going for a run in the snow. Potentially dangerous but I think if I'm careful I can make it work. Now listen I grew up in Michigan so I had snow a lot, okay? But then I lived back and forth between North and South Carolina for a couple of years and the snow just wasn't common. And even if it snowed, it usually wasn't a lot. But now that I live in Tennessee, I'm very excited for snow. I'm going to be doing all the snow bucket list items without a doubt. Now into like the baking and cooking area, I want to try some more crock pot recipes, especially because now I have a remote job. I think it'd be really fun on my lunch break to throw stuff in a crock pot and it just like cooks throughout the day and it's ready by dinner time. The whole house smells good. And that also kind of goes into learning how to make different types of soups. I only really know how how to make two and I want to be able to make more. We are also going to be making homemade cinnamon rolls. I am a big fan of those Pillberry Cinnabon cinnamon rolls that you can buy and like unroll. That's not really up for argumentation. They taste better homemade, period. So I really want to try to make homemade cinnamon rolls one day. Now this is actually a fashion trend that I really want to just embrace, but bows in hair, I'm seeing it all over Pinterest. It is so cute. People are putting little silk ribbons or velvet ribbons and they're just like tying ribbons into their hair and it's the cutest thing and I want to be a part of that. 60, having like a winter date night. If you don't have a significant other, this could just be with a friend. Maybe like a bucket list sprint where you have like all these bucket list items and you go on a date and you see like how many of your bucket list items you could do together. 61 is conversation cards. I love conversation cards. It doesn't even have to be with a large group of people, even just like one other person and you just take turns like picking question cards and either asking them to each other or answering them yourself. This one is a wintry puzzle. Just really cute ones you could get from like Barnes and Nobles that are just like fun and wintry themed. I'm also a very big advocate for breakfast in bed. 64. Let's do a reading challenge. Obviously I have done a lot of reading challenges. That's kind of what kicked off my YouTube journey for me. I do have a whole playlist of different reading challenges that I have done. 65. We're going to do some winter self-care. This is most likely going to be like skincare for dry skin. 
skin or maybe just like kind of taking a Christmas twist on what you would usually do to relax and calm down. 66, we are going to make snickerdoodles. I don't know if these are considered Christmas cookies, but in my brain they always have been. Bonus point if they are frosted with cream cheese frosting. If you've never had a snickerdoodle cookie with cream cheese frosting, you are missing out and I will stand by that. 67 is go on a solo date. 68, we are going to unplug for a day. Preferably make this a day when you're going to be doing stuff with your family, making a point to, okay, whenever I'm in a room with a family member, my phone is down and I'm not looking at it, or restrict yourself to only texting, tell yourself you're not going to check your emails for a day. We're also going to go to an art museum. Art museums are kind of a big thing for me. I absolutely love them, and to me, I've always considered that like a Christmas slash New Year's thing to do. 70 is we are going to read by a fire. It's okay if you don't have a fireplace in your own house or apartment. You could even find, I know like a lot of Panera Breads have fireplaces, maybe go there, get a hot cocoa or a seasonal drink, and sit by their fire and read a book. 71 is to go see a local play. Especially around this time of year, a lot of theaters are going to be doing like Christmas Carol or fun Christmassy type plays, and now we are dipping into post-Christmas going into New Year's. First, you're either going to get your new planner if you're very picky or you don't know what you want, or maybe you're more creative and looking for a creative hobby, try bullet journaling. I bullet journaled while I was in college and it was one of my most favorite things to do. I was very specific about what I wanted my academic planner to be and I could never find an academic planner that had everything I wanted. So what did I do? I created my own. 73, we are going to take time to reflect on the past year, but I beg you, please stay positive. I know it is so easy to reflect on the past year and maybe think about all the goals that you didn't reach. I would encourage you to actually look at your past year in a very positive light. Try to make it as positive as possible maybe look at your accomplishments, or even just happy things that happened that year, good news that you heard, friendships that you made, just try to stay as positive as possible. 74 is look up some New Year's journal prompts, and this is going to be important because this is going to help you make your new 75. Once you kind of know what you want your new year to look like, maybe a new skill you want to pick up, a new practice you want to work on, something you want to focus on, try reading a nonfiction book about that thing. 76. Of course, after doing all of that, you should have a pretty good idea of what you want to do for your new year's resolutions. I am personally very excited about that this year because my new year's resolutions I think are going to look very different than they have in the past. 77 is make a vision board. I actually made my own vision board and I'll put it right up here. I took all of my New Year's resolutions and then I found pictures on Pinterest that I felt like really encompassed either that vibe, that feeling, that look. And then I put it in like a little Canva collage template. And this is what I got. And now it is my laptop screen saver. 78 is to pick a word of the year. I highly recommend doing this. And I have already picked my word and I'm very excited about that. And maybe I'll share that in a future vlog if you guys are interested. Reevaluate who you are following on social media. Go through a list of everyone that you're following and just start unfollowing certain influencers, celebrities, or creators that maybe don't inspire you anymore. Think of it as decluttering your social media and letting social media know what you actually want to see. And you can do this over all of the platforms. 80, you are going to set up a system that helps you keep track of your goals. For me, this is Notion. So maybe this is another plug for Notion. I swear this is not an ad. They're not sponsoring this. Or if you do want to do bullet journaling, if you do have a planner and there's an opportunity to put in stuff about your yearly or monthly goals, I would do that there. But set up a good system. Maybe that's a reward system for you if that's how you work. Maybe set up an accountability system depending on what the goals are. 81, watch the New Year's episodes of your favorite TV shows. If you like Friends, you know exactly the Friends episode I'm thinking of. <laughs> Now, this is a fun one, and I've actually done this before. I'd highly recommend it, but write a letter to yourself for the end of the upcoming year. But write a letter from your 2023 New Year's Eve self to your 2024 New Year's Eve self. How I prefer to write my letters is you can say, hey, this is what life looks like right now. It will show you how much you've grown and how much you've changed, and it will really help you recap the last year very well. 83 is something I haven't done before, and I'm looking forward to doing it to this new year, is write a list 
of 24 things you were looking forward to in 2024. Maybe an event, a book release, a movie release, a milestone birthday, a trip that you plan to take, a vacation you want to go on. 84 for all my reader girlies out there is make a TBR for 2024. 85 is pick one thing that you want to give up this upcoming year. A hobby that I don't really love anymore, but I've just kept it up because it's something I've always done. A bad habit that you want to replace with a good habit. This could be a lot of different things. New Year's Eve party. Either go to one or throw your own. And now we are officially into January and at least for me things that I want to focus on in January. The first one is I want to be better about taking supplements. I used to be really good about this. Then I just kind of like fell off of the supplement wagon for some reason. 88. I want to see the Mean Girls movie. I'm so pumped for this. I wanted to see the musical so bad when it was in New York. Now it's gonna be a movie with Renee Rapp of all people. I'm super pumped for this movie and I'm dying to see it this January. So that is a must see. 89 is that I want to do one thing that I've never done before. I am not exactly sure what this is yet. I might wait till January to kind of see what opportunities open themselves up to me. 90, karaoke night. 91, go bowling. 92, I'm especially excited about this, is indoor rock climbing. I know that's become like a really trending thing in the past year, so there's more like rock climbing gyms out there. I think the last time I went was in like sixth or seventh grade. Look out, I'm, I'm about to become like a rock climbing queen. 90 three is fondue night. This used to be a family Christmas tradition for me and this could be anything. It doesn't even have to just be chocolate but this could also be like cheese fondue and dipping bread and apples and stuff in it. That is good. You need to try that. 94 is I want to do an escape room. I love escape rooms. I grew up reading and playing the Nancy Drew games so like thinking that way and like doing puzzles and stuff is so fun to me. 95. This is kind of like a full seasonal thing but to me something about this is just so winter coated and maybe this comes from my Harry Potter obsession but you need to play Hogwarts Legacy if you haven't already. If you have like a PlayStation or Xbox, if you have a Nintendo Switch, you can play this game on any platform now. You quite literally are like a Harry Potter character, your own Harry Potter character that you make. And it's a whole different plot line. It's actually so good. If you're not like a video gamer, which I would have never considered myself a gamer, but I love this game, you can change the settings to be like super easy or super hard depending on your level. It is so fun. I really enjoy it. As someone who's not very good, I'll occasionally play video games with my husband because he's a gamer. I'm not very good, but I love Hogwarts Legacy. 96, and this is also vague because it's whatever you want to make of it, but do a random act of kindness. This could be paying it forward in the Starbucks drive through This could be if you know someone who's moving, offer to help them move. It could be really anything. Just keep an eye out for people who are in need or maybe could use an act of kindness and try to help out in any way that you can to make other people's day. 97, commit to a health or fitness plan. Whether you want to do like a health fitness challenge, for me I want to do a half marathon training plan. I don't actually have a half marathon upcoming that I'm planning on doing. I just want to train for it so that when the opportunity does come up I can. Now that I'm learning how to love running and I'm getting into running I want to see what I'm capable of. So that is my personal fitness plan that I'll be doing. If you want to do a Pilates plan, maybe you do weightlifting, maybe it's like a plan specifically geared towards a sport that you enjoy doing, make it personalized to whatever your personal health goals are. 98, and this is definitely on my list of 24 things I am most excited for about 2024, and that is the new Sarah J Mass book is coming out. I have it pre-ordered and I am ready to read it that second, the second that book becomes available, I will be reading it. Now, 99 and I put this one towards the end for a reason. I'm gonna make a lot of people sad with this But we do have to undecorate that one's heartbreaking, but there's a reason it's at the end of the bucket list It's gonna be at end of winter. We're gonna be going into spring Maybe leave the fairy lights up because I think fairy lights are kind of fun and springish Do yourself a favor for future Christmas. So this is bonus Make sure you pack everything up in an organized way That's gonna make yourself thankful so that next Christmas you have more fun unpacking Okay, don't make it harder on 2024 Christmas self
number 100 as always with my bucket list videos is romanticize everything. This is something that you can check off at the end of the winter to really ask yourself, did I do this? And a lot of people I know are like, why would you romanticize everything? I know some people are all about romanticizing everything and some people think it's the most ridiculous thing ever. In my opinion, especially with stuff like seasonal depression, it is important to enjoy the little things, to be present, and to just enjoy the holiday season. Definitely do not forget to prioritize romanticizing everything, and that's why we do bucket lists. And that is all 100 things that are on my winter bucket list. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if there's anything that you plan to do that was not involved here. And this is the first episode of Vlogmas, so you can either subscribe to stick around for Vlogmas, or you could just watch all the videos in this playlist of all of the Vlogmas videos that I've done so far. But I love you and I'll see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas video.